Cristiano Ronaldo has told Manchester United that he wants to leave this summer. Sky Sports News are informed that this decision has been driven by his concerns over a lack of new signings and his desire to win more trophies before the end of his career. We understand that the 37-year-old is worried that the club won't compete for top trophies again next season under the new manager, Eric Ten Hag. It comes after he returned to United just last summer following his £20 million move from Juventus. Ronaldo was United's top scorer last season, but they finished sixth in the league and were knocked out of the Champions League in the round of 16. United do not want him to leave, and this is what Ten Hag said about Ronaldo at his first news conference as United manager back in May. Does Cristiano Ronaldo fit into that project? Of course. What, what do you feel he can bring going into next season? Ronaldo? Yeah. Goals. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for more leadership from as well to, to sort of lead this project forward for these days? I talk first with Ronaldo uh, before I talk with you. <laughs> And Ronaldo's numbers were up there with the very best last season. The 37-year-old scored 24 goals in 38 games in all competitions, with only Hyung Min Son and Mohamed Salah scoring more league goals. Well, this is how Jamie Carragher has responded to the news on Twitter. He said, Ronaldo did exactly what I thought he would do, score goals but make the team worse. The transfer request has also killed the idea that he turned Man City down because of his love for Man United. And that got a response from Gary Neville. He said, I get it, you're full of yourselves, but he can turn down City for United because he likes them more and still wants to leave this summer. He left before, but he still loved the club. Enjoy Saturday night and your short period of success. This is getting spicy. Carragher replied, City didn't want him, you clown. That's the use of the emoji there, you clown. Uh, and you're the same fella who kept saying it was like Elvis had arrived in Manchester. Elvis has left the building. And perhaps seeing the funny side of it, Neville tweeted with the Elvis Presley lyric, little less conversation. Oh, they're good. They're good, those two, aren't they? They're good. Right, we need to get more on this, don't we? Thankfully, Michael Bridge is still here. He's had a busy day, but... Uh, you can't leave with this going on, can you? This is, this is a pretty big story. So, what do we know so far? Well, Matt, we've actually had a development in the last few seconds from my colleague, Damo Chef. Man United's stance is Cristiano Ronaldo is not for sale and remains under contract with the club for another year. That has just come into us in an update for you. The stance is Cristiano Ronaldo not for sale and remains under contract with the club for another year. What's happened, though? in the last hour or so, we have been told Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo wants to leave Manchester United. What are the reasons why? Well, here they are. He's understood to be concerned that the club are yet to make any improvements to the squad in the current transfer window. Of course, I've been reporting all afternoon about potential incomings at Manchester United. Four players I reported earlier, but Matt, they're not in yet, yeah, so uh, is yeah. there a concern there? He feels the urge to win even more in the twilight of his career and he's understood to be concerned that competing for the top trophies next season will be unlikely at Manchester United. Look, this Eric Ten Hag era, it could go on for quite a few years. Everyone, the biggest Man United fans, Gary Neville himself has said this will take a number of years. It's a project. Ronaldo saying, I don't really have time for this. I want to win the trophies now. He's never not played in the Champions League. He's not played in the Europa League. But he had, we do know that United, uh, Ronaldo respects United a lot, especially the fans, and he is in love with the club. But it's, as I say, it's the first time in his career he'll not play Champions League football. Uh, and, and, you know, as I said, they're close for deals for Frank de Jong, mm. Tyrell Malassia. They want Lissandro Martinez. They've offered a contract to Christian Eriksen. He has cut a frustrated figure from time to time. We've seen him under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Ranić. They finished sixth, though. Um, but, of course, this is not what Eric Ten Hag wants. Yeah. Uh, so this is a huge, huge blow for Manchester United, their supporters. But as we've literally just told you, the stance from the club is not for sale. I mean, obviously, we're hearing about all these players that they're associated with. You've been talking about it all day. Frankie de Jong's obviously a big name. 
Are these perhaps not the kind of names that Ronaldo wants? Does he want to see United associated with bigger names? We've seen some really big transfers already so far, haven't we? You know, Liverpool have brought in Nunez, uh, City have brought in Haaland, you know, even Arsenal have brought in Jesus, Tottenham have done loads of good business. So do you think it, it, it's the names that are associated with Man United that might be the problem? Maybe, or maybe it's just the timing. It's, you know, it's, it's a short pre-season this year, Matt. You know, you know the season's starting a little bit earlier because of the World Cup, but there has to be a worry here with United fans. They fly away next week to Bangkok, then they go to Melbourne. Eric Ten Hag had a press conference and said, Cristiano Ronaldo is part of my plans. So this will be a huge blow. They say not for sale, Manchester United, but now with this information, we understand what we've been told, that he wants to leave. This is a problem that Eric Ten Hag does not want. He has got a humongous job to do at a humongous football club. Now, look at those goals he's scoring, Matt. You know, 24 goals last season he scored in 38 games. But we were hearing debates. Is he a problem? 24 mm. goals <laughs> a problem. But what was, what, why did they say that? There you go, 24 goals. But why did they say it was a problem? Because they said, well, it's hindering the likes of Marcus Rashford. We didn't see the best of Jadon Sancho. And Ronaldo was getting the blame for that, Matt. But then we watched Champions League games and Ronaldo was keeping the minutes, scoring in stoppage time. Headers. And if he does move on, where's United's out-and-out -out striker? We see with Chelsea at the moment, Romelu Lukaku going out on loan. They're thinking, well, are we going to play over false nine next season? Because top players and top strikers don't grow on trees. Yeah, yeah you're right. And it's interesting, Ten Hag said, what are you expecting from Ronaldo or goals? You know, so he obviously seems keen to keep him. Look... Man United don't want to let him go, is what we're hearing. But there will be teams now on alert, now that he's said that. What kind of teams do you think could afford Ronaldo, would be interested in Ronaldo? I think afford is the key there, Matt, isn't it? Can you afford to sign Cristiano Ronaldo? Look, he's one of the greatest of all time. <laughs> it's one of the usual debates. Who is the greatest of all time? Well, let's stop all that. He's one of the greatest of all time. He brings so much with him and he's still naturally very fit. He still scores plenty of goals. There were reports that the new Chelsea owner, Todd Burley, met George Mendes. There were reports that they spoke about the future of Cristiano Ronaldo. We don't know that for certain. They are just reports. Bayern Munich uh, were asked about Ronaldo a few weeks ago and the Bayern Munich sporting director said there's nothing in that whatsoever. PSG over the last few weeks, I've been reporting with my colleague Carve that PSG are ending those days of signing the big stars. They yeah. want Parisian players. They want French players to be brought up through the ranks because of all the stars. Last year, Matt, it didn't work. Ramos coming in. You know, Messi didn't, wasn't the great year for Messi, really, was it? So they want to do localised players now. So where does he go? I mean, I'm hearing Napoli from a few reporters as well. Maybe is that an option? But... Wow, such a big name, such a big player. And as I say, we're into July now and we're into pre-season. United started their pre-season last week. Eric Ten Hag did not want this no, at all. It's not good timing, isn't it? And, and look, this is, this is the second time that he's wanted to leave Manchester United, you know, if this is what we think is happening here. Most Man United fans won't have a bad word said about Ronaldo. Will that change, though, after this development if he wants to leave the club for not just the first time but the second time? I think there will be disappointment with some Manchester United fans. I, th I, th I think it's the timing. I, I, I do look at it as the timing. You know, if we've had the end of May, we've had all of June, and as I say, they have started pre-season. Eric Ten Hag's work is underway. And when they go away next week to Bangkok, when they come back, the season nearly starts. So Eric Ten Hag pro was, was, was counting on Ronaldo. So... It does come as a disappointment. What, from Ronaldo's point of view, though, is he's probably looking at it and thinking, look, he was personally happy with his own performance, but in mm. terms of the, the side, he probably never expected in a million years for the, his United side to finish sixth. He scored 24 goals. He's done his bit. And maybe he's thinking, why am I getting the blame? Why am I getting singled <laughs> out from, from certain people sometimes in terms of how he fared last season? Because at the end of the day, he, he did score a lot of goals. But what we do know is, whatever, whatever's going to happen, this is not what Eric Ten Hag wanted.